Okay, right here are two Caterpillar D11Rs. One is the standard model D11, and the other is the Carry Dozer D11. Now, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go and take a closer look at these big cats. This is the standard D11R model, as Caterpillar calls it, which was first introduced in early 1996 as a replacement for the older D11N model, which featured numerous improvements such as increased oil flow, improved idler caps, and an updated equalizer bar. Despite all of these improvements, however, the engine and power rating remained the exact same as on the older D11N series. A semi-U-blade rated at 35 cubic yard capacity or a U-blade rated at 45 cubic yard capacity were offered for the D11R. However, an even more powerful D11R model with a higher blade capacity was soon to be introduced. Six months later, at the September 1996 Mine Expo show in Las Vegas, Nevada, Caterpillar introduced this beast right here. This is the Carry Dozer model D11R, which was introduced not as an upgrade nor a replacement for the standard D11R, but as a new model altogether. Designed specifically for high volume production work in mining and reclamation, the massive blade that you see on the front of this tractor measures 22 feet across and 11 feet 10 inches in height, and it is designed to push and carry 57 cubic yards of material. That is 12 cubic yards more than what the standard D11R with a U-blade, such as this one right here, is rated at. The Carry Dozer's big blade also increases the tractor's weight, allowing for more push power and better stability when operating on steep slopes. To support the big blade, the Carry Dozer featured a beefed up undercarriage and frame, and for the first time, boosted 850 horsepower. Later on in 1997, the standard D11R was given an engine upgrade and power increase to match that of the Carry Dozer. In addition, the standard D11R received an improved undercarriage and frame, along with a new cooling system. After over a year of undergoing field testing and limited availability at the time, the Carry Dozer D11R was officially released in April 1998. Now, let's go up on the big girl. Okay, under the hood here is a Caterpillar 3508B EUI. This is a four-stroke turbocharged and after-cooled V8 diesel engine with a 25% torque rise that develops 850 flywheel horsepower at 1800 RPM for this tractor. This engine was first tested in the Carry Dozer, and in 1997, it replaced the 3508 utilized in the early standard D11R tractors, which at the time were rated at 770 horsepower. And despite the power increase, this engine features additional internal ribbing surrounding a larger camshaft bore. Here you can see one of the two air cleaners, the other is on the opposite side, and the two air intakes are located directly above on the hood. The tractor also features an advanced modular two-pass cooling system, utilizing a multiple row module radiator which replaced the older folded core unit. And the tractor's engine control module regulates the fan speed through a variable displacement hydraulic pump to increase available horsepower and fuel efficiency. All right, now let's go inside and check out the operator's cab.
From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the D11R carry doser, which is exactly the same in its layout as the standard D11R tractor. One of the biggest changes that was made to the new D11R series was that all major controls within the operator's cab were designed as fingertip controls. Let's go and take a look. Okay. If you look out in front here on the control panel, you can see switches to control the front headlights, the ignition switch, and you can see all the gauges to monitor this entire tractor when it's in operation. On the floor, you can see two foot pedals. This is the brake pedal on the left side. And this other smaller pedal that you see over here off to the right side controls the decelerator. Off to my left side are the steering and transmission controls. Unique to the D11R series, was an electric clutch brake steering system. All of these controls to steer the tractor and control the transmission are all mounted around a hand grip, which you can see right here, which is to provide something solid for the operator to hold on to when he's operating this tractor. The two fingertip controls that you see out in front of the hand grip control the steering clutches. This is how you steer this tractor and you simply pull back with your finger to apply the steering clutch. Each hand lever controls each individual track. These two controls replace the older steering clutch and brake hand levers that you would find on the older D11N. This switch that you see right here that you operate with your thumb controls the transmission. This is in the neutral position right here. Push forward to make the tractor go forward and push back to make the tractor go in reverse. These two buttons that you see right here are for gear selection to upshift or downshift the tractor when it's in operation. This hand lever that you see over here on my right side controls all the functions of the blade out in front. Back here are the two ripper fingertip controls, which as you can see are also positioned around a hand grip, and these control all of the functions of the shank ripper which is located on the back of the tractor. This fingertip control that you see in the back here controls the ripper angle. This will tilt the ripper forward and tilt the ripper backward. And this control you see right here that you operate with your thumb will raise the ripper or lower the ripper. And if you look out the back window right here, you can get a crystal clear view of the ripper on this tractor. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a D11R. Mounted on the back of this dozer is the diesel fuel tank. And right here you can see the cap to fill the tank with fuel. This tank holds 425 gallons of diesel. The 11R carry dozer was available from Caterpillar with either a single shank or multi shank ripper option. Or, should the customer choose to have no ripper installed, a counterweight was offered for the back of the tractor. As you can see, this particular carry dozer is equipped with a single shank ripper, which featured a much more heavy duty design than that of the standard D11R's single shank ripper. And this was to increase balance to withstand high ripping forces and also to allow for tractor pushing. The multi-shank ripper option was first made available for the carry dozer model in 1999. Right here, the two cylinders that you see up top will tilt the ripper forward and back. 
The two that you see down bottom raise and lower the ripper. And this cylinder that you see here, mounted on the back of the ripper, works the pin to raise and lower the shank. Thirty-six inch crawler shoes were standard for the carry dozer, while the standard D11R was offered with either 28 inch, 32 inch, or 36 inch shoes, depending on the application. And on the side of the tractor here, you can see where it says D11R CD for carry dozer. And to help give you an idea of the size of a D11R carry dozer, this tractor measures 15 feet 3 inches tall from the ground to the top of the rops over the operator's cab and 34 feet 5 inches long. In 1999, the D11R series received a newly designed operator's cab featuring a new interior design and incorporated the company's new vital information management system, which alerted the operator in case of a malfunction. And in late 2000, the carry dozer received a new tag link design, which attached the link to the blade instead of to the push arms as previous. Other improvements made were to strengthen the tractor's frame in critical stress areas. And the overall operating weight of the D11R carry dozer prior to 1999 was 120 tons. However, after 1999, with all the improvements and upgrades made to this tractor, boosted the operating weight up to 123.5 tons with the multi-shank ripper and 124.3 tons with the single shank ripper. And the standard D11R can weigh in anywhere from 110.5 to 115.4 tons, depending on the ripper and blade configuration. And by the time this tractor was upgraded to the new D11T series in 2008, the D11R had become the best-selling large mining-class bulldozer worldwide in terms of sales. But there she is, the Caterpillar D11R Carry Dozer.